Flying in to ride in tomorrow's $150,000 BC Derby is Hall of Fame jockey and also the world's winningest rider, Russell Bays. And if you haven't seen Bays ride, you're in for a treat. And if you're wondering how a top jockey like Bays arrived here at Hastings to ride in this big race tomorrow, we had him on the phone the other day and here's what he explained. Anyway, my agent uh, uh, called me out of the jock room and, uh, during the day and said that uh, uh, the ho horse's uh, rider had had a heart attack and they needed somebody to ride him. Uh, so they were, you know, well, wanting to, willing to fly me up there to ride him. Now, Russ, when something like this happens where you're picking up a ride from a, a, out of state or out of country, and what's the process? First, they get a hold of my agent and, uh, you know, find out if I'm available to come that day. And then, uh, you know, I mean, uh, my agent irons out the details with them and he tells me and then I make the reservations and away I go. I just got to make sure my, uh, my passport's in, <laughs> in order. Now, the other thing is you don't know anything about this horse. How do you find out about him? When, when do you go in discussions with the owner, Glenn Todd, or the trainer, Troy Taylor? Well, my agent has already pulled up the, the past performances on the horse, so I've gotten to see what the horse has uh, been doing in the, in the recent past, what, uh, what uh, you know, kind of style he uses running. Um, and then uh, I would imagine the day of the race is, will be the first time I actually talk with Troy about it. He's a very good horseman. He knows what I need to know about the horse. Uh, going into the race, so you know he'll he'll tell me if the horse has got any little idiosyncrasies that I need to know about, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to uh, put the knowledge he put gives to me uh, to good use and and win the race for him. Now you've ridden in the Derby up here once or twice. Do you look forward to riding up here and also in a Derby? Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, you know I mean enjoy coming up there. Uh, the, the people of, of British Columbia always you know make a make a nice. Uh, production out of the fact that I was born in, in uh, Vancouver there so you know I mean they're very welcoming when I come up there and it's, it's always fun to come up there and uh, I haven't won the derby but I'm certainly looking forward to this year. You know you mentioned being born in Vancouver we're all guilty of making uh, assuming you are a Vancouver native can you clarify for our audience because there's a misnomer there. It is uh, been uh, a little bit uh, uh, I was born there because my father and mother uh, were up there. They're uh, American citizens, and my father was up there. Uh, I always thought he was riding at the time, but I've been recently <laughs> found out that he was training the horses there during the summer when I was born there. Uh, so I am, uh, though I was was born in Canada, I am actually a foreign-born American citizen. So, uh, but I, I just recently found out that they reinstated the. Uh, citizenship of all the Canadian born children so I've, I've actually got dual citizenship now all right yeah Russ looking forward to seeing you come up here how long are you going to be here we'll probably just be in that day and then fly out the next morning okay well good luck on Derby Day and thanks for doing this and I'm looking forward to seeing you uh, thank you Tom it's always a good pleasure talking to you okay thanks Russ all right bye